hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel in this video we have this interesting exponential equation here we have 2 to the power of n plus 4 to the power of n equals to 8 to the power of n and we are asked to find the value of n so without wasting much time let's get started so we have 2 to the power of n plus here we have 4 to the power of n we can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 2 all to the power of n equals to here we have a to the power of n and we can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of n so this equation can be rewritten as we have 2 to the power of n plus 2 to the power of n power 2 equals to 2 to the power of n power 3 so the next step is for us to equate 2 to the power of n to a constant. In this case, we are going to use a variable p. So we say, let 2 to the power of n equals to p. So now that 2 to the power of n equals to p, the next step is for us to insert p in wherever we have 2 to the power of n. So we have p plus p squared equals to p to the power of 3. So this equation can be rewritten as p to the power of 3 minus p squared minus p equals to 0. So let's continue on this part of the board. We can factorize p out from this cubic equation. So we have p into p to the power of 2 minus p minus 1 equals to 0. So we can set p to be equals to 0 or we can set p squared minus p minus 1 to be equals to 0. So this becomes a quadratic equation. So let's go ahead and solve it. We are going to make use of the quadratic formula. So we have p equals to negative b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and from this equation we have a equals to 1 b equals to negative 1 and c equals to negative 1 so let's go ahead and set these values into this particular quadratic equation so we have p equals to negative into negative 1 plus or minus root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all divided by 2 into 1. So let's continue on this part of the board. Here we have p equals to negative negative 1 so you're gonna have 1 plus or minus root of here we have negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 so this will give us 1 plus 4 divided by 2 so we have p equals to 1 plus let's take this positive one first 1 plus 4 is 5 so we have root of 5 divided by 2 or we take 1 minus root of 5 divided by 2 so the three values for p are p equals to 0 p equals to 1 minus root of 5 divided by 2 and p equals to 1 plus root of 5 divided by 2 so let's continue on this part of the board and also let's consider each of these values of p so if p equals to zero we are taking the first one now let's recall this condition we set two power of n equals to p so we have two power of n equals to zero this is actually greater than zero so there's no way two power of n will be equals to zero so therefore p cannot be equals to zero so therefore this is actually out of the line 
so p cannot be equal to zero and we are going to ignore this so let's consider the second value p equals to one minus root of five divided by two so we said two power of n equals to p so two power of n equals to one minus root of five divided by two but there is no way two power of n can give us one minus root of five divided by two because this is actually going to be less than zero this is going to give us a negative number so there is no way two power of n will give us a negative number so therefore p cannot be equals to one minus root of five divided by two so let's continue on this part of the board and let's consider p equals to one plus root five divided by two this is actually greater than zero and this will satisfy this condition so therefore 2 power of n equals to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So in order for us to solve for this n, let's take the log of both sides. So we have log 2 to the power of n equals to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. But we have log of 2 power of n equals to log of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So this n can come behind this log. So we have n log 2 equals to log of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So we have n can be equals to log of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 divided by log of 2. You can impute this in your calculator and have an approximate answer. Or you can represent your n as n equals to log to base 2 into 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Now, this can also be written as 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 is called the golden ratio. Golden ratio. And it is represented as 5. Right? So we can write it as log of 5 to base 2. This is our final answer for n. So at this point, we have come to the end of this class. And I believe you have learned one or two things. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification icon for updates on my videos. Thank you and goodbye.